Now that you have created your Turnitin assignment in Schoology and launched the Rubric Manager, it is now time to set up your rubric. Once in the Rubric Manager, you will have this drop-down list box in the top left-hand corner. You have an option to create a new rubric or to choose from one of these pre-loaded rubrics. It's important to know that if you choose a pre-loaded rubric, you will not be able to edit this rubric until you first make a copy. To make a copy, you hit the drop-down list box and choose Duplicate this rubric. Now that you have duplicated the rubric, you have the ability to customize the name, add columns and rows, and edit any part of the rubric that you need to. You also have rubric scoring options. This first option with the percentage sign, this is your standard rubric. Here you can enter scale values for each column and weight your criteria rows using percentages. Your second rubric option is a custom rubric. Enter any value directly into each rubric cell. Your third rubric scoring option is the qualitative option. This rubric provides standard feedback but has no numeric scoring. Once you've completed your rubric, your save button is located in the lower right hand corner. Once it is saved, if you would like to use this rubric again, you'll be able to find it in the bottom of the drop down list box when selecting your rubric. After saving, you can also export the rubric should you want to share this rubric with someone else for them to import into their Schoology Turnitin course.